this channel. No, no. Uh, it is Brie Hall back with another video. So today's video is the highly requested part two to my curly hair wash and go routine. And I'm going to show you guys how I go from this freshly washed. Look at this definition though. If you want to see how I actually styled it, go check out part one. I'll give y'all a quick spin so you can see some of the definition. All right, so yeah, that's what it's looking like. I'm gonna take this little headscarf off. This looks completely fine, y'all. Like, this is something I'd wear out. Sometimes I let it air dry, but I finally invested in a hooded blow dryer. So girl, like, it is so nice. It's sitting under there for 30 minutes. And there's so much you can do in 30 minutes, y'all. Like, you can literally write out your to-do list for the day. Make breakfast before you sit under the dryer and eat your meal while your hair dry. Watch YouTube videos with headphones in. There's so much you can do, you can read. So it's just a nice little 30 minute period that's just for me. First thing I would do is probably get some oil or something. Okay, so I went into my stash and I got one of my favorite oils at the moment. And this is from the 365 brand. I love this brand, they're sold at Whole Foods. The only two ingredients in here are vitamin E and grapeseed oil. seconds later all right so for part one what you're gonna need first is two things mine's like a little crusty but you're gonna need some hair bands and you're gonna need your oil of choice very lightweight oil that's why i like grapeseed oil i'm gonna take a little bit on my hands like so and then i'm gonna break the product cast a little bit and you're gonna see a huge difference already you watch my old video when i have bright red hair this is a step that hasn't changed like can y'all get into this hair health and definition though like so I rub it in my hands, hands coated with some grapeseed oil, and then I'm just gonna go like this, okay? And hold it for a second, and then just rub my hands down my hair a little bit. And as you can see, you're already starting to see a little bit of length. I'm gonna just go through my hair. And the main key is just stretching your hair downward while you do this, because what this is gonna do is start beginning to break that product cast up. And as you can see, you're already starting to see some volume in here. Do not forget the back. I think that's what a lot of people do with their natural hair sometimes. You forget the back because the front look popping and then you have like this flat situation in the back. The praying hands motion, because we're praying for this volume right now, y'all. Lean a little bit to the side, continue to just do this. And you're just gonna start to feel your hair soften a little bit. Like my hair just starts to get automatically a little bit bigger and a little bit softer. If I don't have time to stretch my hair a lot this is a great way to get my hair to be a little bit bigger on the first day remember my original wash and go video i'm just gonna squeeze squeeze a little bit they call him the juicer why, why do they call him that legend has it he can get the juice out of anything and i'm not pulling in my roots at all i'm literally just squeezing downward not pulling out oh my you should feel a much softer curl, and I definitely do. My curls feel super soft on this side. So I'm gonna add a little more, just ooh, two drops of the grapeseed oil. Rub it, rub back here, and then I'm gonna come to the back. That's why I like the method I did for my washing bowl because it's really not crunchy at all. Now I'm just scrunching my fro, y'all, and shake it out a little bit okay so that is step one you can already see the volume just coming in gradually and we're gonna get way more okay so step two i'm gonna take and since i styled my hair the way i did my hair separates really easily and has tons and tons of definition i'm gonna use a hair tie oh this is kind of a style if i did it neater okay all right so then i'm gonna split down the middle i'll show y'all so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this section and I'm just gonna run my fingers down the roots like this. And once I feel like the roots are smooth, I'm gonna twist, bless you, twist. And y'all have seen me do kind of these styles in my twists video of how I stretch them. Leave the ends out because you don't wanna stretch your ends. I'm just gonna take the hair tie like this and wrap it around this little button. And the more sections you do, the more twisted it is. It's gonna be similar to banding. This method, is, I think, is more called bunning, but like, um, I go between this and banding. I like to sleep with my hair banded because it's a lot more comfortable than this method. Or if I do this method, I'll put the buns a lot closer to the top of my head. All right, now that you've done that, smoothing, 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 and then 
Once you get to the ends, like so, just put it in a little bun like this. Now we're gonna deal with the top. And again, the more buns you do, the more stretched it's gonna get. I just feel the way my hair is naturally separating. I don't have a system to this. Your hair just naturally splits at certain places when it's dry. And this goes really quick in, in like normal time, y'all. Like the only reason it seems like it's taking a while is because I'm trying to make sure I explain it to y'all. We gonna twist. twist. I'm gonna try to find footage from an old video for y'all where I used to do two buns. And again, banding works just fine. I just like this because I don't have to use as many hair ties. But you see per bun, I only have to use one hair tie. Whereas if I were banding these, that would probably be like 10 hair ties already gone or 12. So you might look a little funny <laughs> when you're doing this. I don't care, I'll walk around the house like this. But again, if you're feeling lazy and you don't wanna do all these buns, just do two buns at the top of your head. It works just as good, but this just gives me a little bit of an extra stretch. <laughs> so you're gonna look like Cynthia from the Rugrats for like five to 10 minutes. Um, the longer you leave them in, the better stretch your hair will have. Cynthia. All right, y'all, so we are back and better. Well, we could be looking a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie to you, but we, we about to. We about to change the whole game, you feel me? I just ate some soup, I'm feeling good. Another good time that you could do these is like in the morning when you're doing your makeup. All right, so we took one down, and as you can see, we went from the, my hair was touching like my neck, and now it's kind of coming down to my shoulder. So, what we're gonna do, most important part, I'm gonna split this in half and then take every curly girl who likes volumes best friend, okay? A pick. And I'm gonna go to the root, the root. Make sure that other hair doesn't get in there. The other hair really wants to be a part of the party, but sorry sis, not invited yet. We're we're gonna get to you though. You waiting on door entry lunch? So all right, move downward like this and we're gonna pick our roots. I don't really go past the halfway point, but for the bottom layers, because you do want them to um, fill out, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but sometimes my lowest layer just looks a little sparse. It's always been like that. All right, so that's one layer. We're gonna kind of leave it like that. And yes, you're gonna have a little bit of frizz from stretching your hair. It happens. Grab that next section that was trying to be a part of the party. We're gonna give our hair some tension, and then we're gonna go right in here, and we're gonna pick down again. And every night that I end up banding my hair, my hair gets a little bit bigger. So this is, of course, just the beginning phases of the fro, getting that volume on the first day. And I like to pick in the areas that won't be seen, per se. So, like, I'll definitely pick up here. I'll do the most when I get to the top because, oh, y'all, y'all see that volume coming through? Once I start getting up here, that's when I start going a little bit closer to the front, like up here and really just finding the areas that need the most uh, help. But it's good to go section by section when you're taking down your, your little pony things because it really does help y'all. The good thing about doing this after wash day one is the fact that I can literally just band and take down my hair every night from this point on and I don't gotta use no more moisturizers. I don't gotta re-twist or re-wet anything. Only time I'll re-wet my hair is literally if I got caught in like a rainstorm. Once we get down here, we are gonna kind of pick a little bit lower. And it's so funny because this is my curliest part of my hair, yet my volume be one to uh, be shy. And I'm like, um, sis, when you pick, you want to use tension. So I literally pull down. And also that tension kind of um, straightens your roots out just a little bit so you can get the pick through there a little easier. Whenever the pick touches my scalp, I'm just like, At this point, this is when I kind of call it like the free form pick. I just go by visual. Oh yeah, another thing. You see this? Don't forget the back, please. So if you're like me and you like your hair super duper 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 stretched, this is a point where um, I wouldn't necessarily always do so on the first day, but 
since my hair does get a lot bigger from this i'm still gonna show y'all how i band my hair okay so after my hair is picked this is what i would do um to sleep with my hair and at night i usually will use my like silk scrunchies that i have but this is just for demonstrational purposes so i'm gonna use what i have here and then i'm gonna pull this up a little bit and band this section <laughs> and it's gonna look like a unicorn <laughs> stretch this and I be feeling like when I do this my hair almost comes out exactly how my twist outs do and this section I'll do that twist again I'll show you the reason why I go upward for everything in a second it's gonna look silly now most of the curly hair process like during is gonna look silly to others but you know there is a method to the madness y'all all right, y'all, so I grabbed the first scarf in my collection. I don't always sleep with a bandana. I definitely go for more like the satin slash silk stuff, but this whole video is for demonstration. And then I'd use one last hair tie to bring these two together. Um, so basically, this is what it looks like when I go to sleep most of the time. And it's like um, these in the front, and I just like will put a clip to clip them together. You do something like this, or just a bonnet by itself, like, kind of one or the other for me so i'm gonna let this sit in for a second and then that's all i do y'all that is all i do this is what the takedown looks like i trim my hair specifically so it can achieve this round shape My favorite type of pin slash clips are these little clickable ones from childhood. I got them on Amazon. I'm going to link them. So I just literally uh, pin right in the front where my bangs sit back just a little bit. So they are out of my face. And it's cool because if the wind blows, it doesn't look too quick. All right, y'all. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is how I get my hair nice and big and full on the second day and then as i said just the way you saw it i'll just band it up put a scarf on it at night and keep doing that for like five or six days until i feel ready to wash my hair again and redo the process or do something else when i take it down from the bands and stuff all i do is this i go into the root and i just separate a little bit so in and just separate so i'll just go through Alright y'all, peace out and gang.